So what's up guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. I came across a video on TikTok and honestly, this guy looks just like Naira Mali. I beg, I beg, look at Naira Mali, don't beat me. If tempted there, eh? if tempted, maybe I'm just walking down the street and I see this guy. I will be tempted to attack him. You know why? He looks just like Naira Mali. I might just be tempted, I'll be like, I call the Nigeria police. Naramali has escaped from your custody. Naramali has escaped from your custody. You have to come and get in. Well, unfortunately, he is not Naramali. This is a, song, this is a man on uh, TikTok who looks like Naramali, but he's from Anambra State. He's not even a Yoruba. Naramali is a Yoruba man from Lagos, and this guy is from Anambra, an Igbo man. No, something like this just tells us that, see, we are all brothers and sisters. The only thing that divides us is uh, where you are from and your village. Ethnic group is what that divides us and sometimes religion. We are all brothers and sisters. We all look alike. We have the same nose, the same face, everything. We all look alike. Well, this is to you guys. If I want this video to go viral. I want um, to see this video. I want to all the all, all the bloggers to see this video. I want to explain myself. I'm not Naamali. I'm not Naamali. I beg. I'm not Naamali. I, I'm, I'm not the God that created myself. I'm not Naamali. All my friends are afraid of me. Everybody in Abalomo, so everybody they pursue me. I'm, I'm not Naamali. I beg, I beg, I beg. Many people know that uh, uh, many people know that uh, uh, my image, I beg. I'm not Naamali, I beg. I beg, me wanna help me. I beg, I beg, I'm not na Mali. I beg, I just, I, I just they do skits. What are they do for you? I beg, I beg, I'm looking at Mali. Don't beat me before because of the, I just na Mali. I'm looking at Mali. I beg, I beg, I beg. I just the skit maker. What are they do for a living? I'm not in a sense state. I'm in a sense state. No, no, be same father. No, be same mother. I know, I don't know who be na Mali. Hey, you see him? You see what I tell you? See them? They, 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 they push me everywhere. Where I go? Hey, I'm not in Mali. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg you guys, please. I the guy is getting booked already. One billion naira for a show in Anambra. Guy, be careful. Maybe they want treat your, they want treat your, uh, your, your, your mess up. Maybe they don't mess up. <laughs> that are mainly mess up, but they want treat up for your body. Be careful. You look very, very like. You look like you, you resemble Naramali like ninety two percent, ninety two percent. Like I've said, if I see you for road. I might be tempted to, to offend you because I might think you are Naramali. 92% you look just like Naramali. So please be extremely careful as we are going out. But if I'm him, I'm going to capitalize on this. Nigeria, so most definitely, I need money. I'm going to capitalize on it and make revenue from it because the Naramali matter is trending now. So you might go for shows. You might go for occasions, something like 200, 500. Before you know it, in a month, eh, before the whole Mubad case will die down, before you know it, in a month, you have already accumulated, accumulated uh, close to like 4 million. So, my guy, capitalize on it. And I like the way he decided to come out to talk. You know, capitalize. So, my guy, capitalize on it. Make money from it. In fact, also you are Naramali, so that people go on, uh, go on. Even Naramali, his junior brother, not even look as good as this guy close to Naramali. His junior brother doesn't even look like Naramali, just at like like this guy. Like I said, it shows you that we are all related somehow. We are all related. We, we are just divided by countries, by states, villages. And streets. That's all. That was just divided human beings. We are all related. Well, if I've said before, he, he should capitalize on it with the dreadlock and everything. You sympathize with Naramali. So, act like Naramali and capitalize on it, my guy. So, let's talk about Tatcha. Tatcha is a former big brother and the housemate. So, Tatcha decided to pay a visit to Lagos State Commissioner of Police. And the, the dress of dresses she decided to wear, the dress of dress of an outfit, sorry, the choice of an outfit she decided to wear. Come on, man. Even myself, I'm not going to cool with it. 
you are going to visit the head, the head of commission, the commissioner of police in Lagos, you should dress accordingly. Accordingly. Just check out the dress, guys. When she ended collecting blasting, someone said, why is she dressed like someone going for carnival? Thought this was supposed to be a former occasion. Well, you know them now. They will never, never give you reason. They will never, never apologize. It doesn't seem it, it doesn't seem wrong to them. Whatever their outfit is, you know, it doesn't if it's a casual visit or if it's a carnival or whatsoever. It doesn't really concern them. So far, they are able to do whatever they feel like doing. Honestly speaking, man, Kaja, you know, do well. Your choice of outfit is rubbish. Let me just be honest. Your choice of outfit is extremely rubbish. There are better dresses in your in your closet that, that you that you should have wore. Not a weary dots, uh, panties and uh, bra and covering it with this see through than wearing a a, a a jacket, a suit, a suit jacket on it. Come on, man. Come on. And yet, you talk about better representative of Nigerian police. Or just maybe you, you are just trying to pass a message out there. Maybe, let me try to make excuse for her. Maybe she, she was just trying to pass a message out there because of the constant discrimination of women who do wear mini skirts and all those kind of outfits and they go out with it and the police will start uh, misbehaving and oppressing them. Maybe she was trying to make a statement that I can wear this kind of outfit to meet the commissioner of police and not in the other. Maybe if that is the reason why she decided to do that, she can easily give us the excuse and be like, okay, this is the reason why I was doing it. I'm speaking for other ladies who are very mini skirt and very whatever, whatever pleases them outside and they constantly get embarrassed by Nigerian police and some public as well. Well, if he's advocating for that, good. It's good for the social media and social uh, advocacy. But apart from that, guys, uh, it's rubbish. Honestly speaking, it's rubbish. I'm just trying to make an excuse for her, though. But apart from that, it's rubbish. It's rubbish, guys. Then again, check out this lady. Check out this other woman. She was formerly a Nollywood superstar. She is still a Nollywood superstar because she's an actress, but she doesn't really act that much again. She decided to wear this outfit hat. She called herself Red Vigo. And her real name is uh, Maureen Izizi. She was formerly married to a Nollywood entertainer. They divorced immediately after the divorce. Eh? This woman decided to tear every year. She decided to tear every year, like to do whatever pleases her. I don't know why. Whenever a woman wants to express, to express themselves, they go beyond by just wearing some uh, crazy outfit. Come on, you are beautiful. You are beautiful and you have the shape. Good and fine, we accept. You are beautiful and you have the shape, but what is the necessity of overdoing it? What is the necessity of overdoing it? There is no need. There is no need. What is the necessity of overdoing it? There is no need. But is I anyway, she is going to do whatever pleases her. And despite the, the talk, despite the, the, the critics and everything, she's still going to do more. <laughs> well, the only obligation you have for yourself is to safeguard yourself, you know, safeguard your kids. Because I can bet you, most of all those, most of uh, if you are, if you if you want to check the reasons why most of all of our ladies dress the certain way they are dressing correctly. Is because of what they see online. Yeah. It's because of what they see online. Nothing else. 
It's because of what they see online. That is why you see them dressing all those kind of things that you are seeing them here. And they look at all those kind of people and feel like, ah, after all, Beyonce, she's very whatever she likes and she's very, very successful. After all, Nicki Minaj is very whatever she likes and she's very, very successful. And she has a boyfriend. Beyonce has a husband. All those kind of things, you know. You know, the world is crazy, though. You know, uh, there is nothing like morals again. As long as you are successful, you know, when you are successful, whatever you do, absolutely correct. Absolutely correct is the best, whatever you do. Hmm? Well, thank you guys for watching.